Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to add a validation to add employee form. Well, if you go to our React application and go to add employee page, so here we haven't added any validation to the add employee form. For example, if I click on submit, it will add a empty entry in the list of employees table and in a database also the empty values are inserted. For example, here let me select the rows from employees table. And notice here employee ID is empty, first name is empty, last name is empty. So this is not a good idea to store the null values or empty values in a database columns. Alright, so let us go ahead and let us add the validation to add employee form so that user have to enter the data in the fields. Okay, so let us go to the presentation and look at here the screenshot. So I want to basically add a validation that looks something like this. The first name is required, last name is required, email ID is required. Next, let us take a look into the development steps. First, we use use state hook to initialize the state variables that will hold will validation errors. Next, we will write the validation function that checks the form data and returns validation errors. Next, we will validate the form on submission. Next, we will display the validation errors. And finally, we are going to test all these changes. All right. So very simple steps. The first step is we are going to use use state hook to initialize the state variables that will hold the validation errors. So let us go to our project and go to employee component over here. So let me maximize this and here let us type use state. Make sure that you choose use state from react library and then let us pass the initial value as an object and the object has the attributes like first name let us give empty and then last name let us keep empty and then email let us keep empty so these are the object attributes to hold the validation errors with respect to the state variables okay next this use state hook returns an array so here const and then array so let us give the state variable name as errors and the function name as set errors perfect now we have used use state hook to initialize the state variables that holds the validation errors next let us take a look into next step next step is we will write the validation function that will check the form data and returns the validation errors so let us go back to our employee component over here and here we are going to write the javascript function that will check the form data so here just type function and let us give function name as validate form all right next within a validate form let us declare a flag let valid equal to true so let us give flag as a true initially next here let us have a constant variable so let us call it as errors copy and here let us use the spread operator to copy the errors object into this errors copy for example here within a curly braces three dot so this is basically a spread operator okay so we use spread operator to copy object into another object and here we are going to copy the errors object all right so here look at here this errors object is nothing but a state variable and here we are basically copying this errors object into a separate variable and then we will store all the validation errors in this errors copy variable okay next here let us add the if condition to validate the first name if first name dot trim so here basically we are going to trim the string if first name is not empty then we'll keep this you know validation field as a empty for example here errors copy dot first name so let us keep empty because we are not going to show any validation error if the first name is null or empty then in the else part what we're going to do is we're going to add the validation error for example here errors copy dot first name equal to first name is required so this is the validation error message and then we'll set valid flag as a false 
so here basically we have added if else condition like if post name is not empty or not null then we don't show any validation error if first name is null or empty then we will show the validation you know error that is first name is required okay and then valid equal to false next let us add if else condition for last name i email as well so here if last name dot trim then we don't show any validation error so here just call errors copy dot last name equal to empty next in the else part errors copy dot last name equal to the validation error last name is required and then set this valid flag as a false perfect so similarly let us add a condition for email as well so here if email dot trim then errors copy dot email equal to empty else errors copy dot email equal to well here let us give a validation error something like email is required and then set this valid flag as a false perfect and then let us set this this errors copy object to you know state variable using set errors method so here just call set errors method and then pass errors copy okay and finally let us return this valid flag okay now we have written the validation function that checks the form data and returns the validation errors next let us take a look into next step next step is validate form on submission so let us go to our project again go to employee component go to save employee method over here and here let us add the if condition if validate form so notice here this validate form method returns a boolean value either true or false if any one of the validation fails then this method returns a false all right next if this validate form returns true then only we need to execute this logic so here let us cut this logic and paste it in this if block all right so if first name last name email fields are not null or not empty then this validate form returns true and this piece of code will get executed okay now we have validated the form on submission next let us take a look into next step next step is display validation errors so let us go back to our project again and go to the form over here and go to this due here we have input field and here we have a class name so basically we need to display the css class based on the condition okay so if you go to browser in a new tab just search for bootstrap validation click on this first link so here basically we need to use validation related couple of bootstrap css classes for example we are going to use is invalid css class and then we are going to use invalid feedback okay so these two css classes we are going to use to add the validation to the input fields all right so let's go back to project and here go to input field for this first name and here is a class name property so here we need to dynamically set the bootstrap css class based on the validation error if validation error is there then we will add is invalid css class otherwise we will add form control class okay so here just remove this form control and let us write the javascript code to dynamically add the bootstrap css class so here within a curly braces just add the backtick symbol so notice here this is not a single quote this is a backtick symbol and then form control next we need to add the one more bootstrap css class based on the validation error 
if there is a validation error then only we will add a is invalid bootstrap css class for that let us write the code here dollar within a curly braces just just access this error object it has a first name right so if the first name contains validation error then what we going to do is we going to add a bootstrap css class that is is hyphen invalid perfect if there is a no validation error then what we going to do is we are going to keep empty all right perfect so here we have added a condition so based on the validation error we will add the bootstrap css class okay perfect next we need to show the validation error message right after the input text box so here go to input element after this input element let us add the javascript code so here errors dot first name so if the first name contains the validation error message then we're going to display that validation error message in a div so for that let us add the condition and 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 then let us have a div let us close this div over here and let us add the bootstrap css class for this div so class name and let us give the bootstrap class name that is in valid feedback perfect next let us display this validation error message so within a curly braces errors dot first name perfect now we have displayed the validation error message for this first name field so similarly let us do it for last name and email as well so here let me copy this class name and go to last name and go to input element and here we have a class class name so let us remove this and paste it over here and here let us change from first name to last name perfect next go to first name field over here and just copy this and go to last name after this input element just paste it and let us change the attribute from first name to last name and here also change from first name to last name okay now we have displayed the validation error message for last name so let us do it for email as well so let me copy this class name and go to email and just paste it here and just change from last name to email and here just copy this and go to email after this input element just paste it and let us change from last name to email and here also let us change from last name to email perfect now we have displayed the validation error message for all the input fields okay next let us take a look to next step next step is test about changes so let us go to our project and let us say our application is up and running or not well our application is up and running let's go to browser and let us test all the changes so here go to our react application and here let me refresh this add employee page and let me click on submit button well notice here the error in a console even though we have added a validation but our react application is calling add employee rest api so let us see what is the issue so go to our react application and go to employee component over here and here go to save employee method and look at here in a if condition we have called valid form method right so here basically we need to provide the open close braces like this so in order to call the javascript function this is the syntax right now we have corrected the syntax next let us save this file and let's go back to browser and now let us refresh and then click on submit button and there we go you can able to see the validation is successfully applied to add employee form all right the first name is required last name is required email is required okay next let us fill up the form so first name john last name sina and then email john at the red gmail.com and click on submit and there we go 
uh, John employees added to the list of employees table and here you can see in the console the response contains the ID 14 let us verify in a database table so go to my SQL bench go to employees table and look at here John employees successfully inserted in the employees table it means we have successfully added a validation to add employee form in next lectures we will start implementing update employee feature in a react application all right great i will see you in the next lecture